Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is May 18th, 2019. It's about 12.30 p.m. Uh, as you can see, I am in Fort Worth, right down, right down there. And we're under a tornado no, let's see. Tornado watch, yeah. Uh, not sure if you can hear the thunder in the background or not. Um, on my cell phone, I'm I have the ham radio Skywarn net up. Let me see if I can pull that up on the computer here. Uh, uh, and let's see, broadcast. Where are we here? Okay, thank you, Joy. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Okay, I think it goes by a different name here. Global tuners, no. Radio reference, no. Okay, what do we call it here? Hmm. I think it's global tuners. No, nope, that's not it. Come on, don't tell me I deleted it from here. Okay, let's do this. Been since a long time since I. Gonna turn off the cell phone or stop it. I'm gonna take my headphones off and make sure I can
I can't tell if there's any hail and light hail if it's just rain. Finally starting to get some rain here in Fort Worth. Um, I'm not sure why we're not getting the audio. It's been such a long time since I've come to this app. I can get it on my cell phone. I'm going to go look out the window. Okay. Getting quite a bit of rain. As you can see, I couldn't get my USB. The cable wasn't long enough to uh, make it over so I could point it out the window.
I'm going to go check see if our leak in the living room is has a bucket underneath it. Okay, I'm turning off that audio, and uh, let's see, let me go to, 
I've got the shade up. I, I wish I could get a camera out there. Well, I have this. Uh, oh, well, I'm, you can't see it. But, um, oh, okay, you can. Uh, go to my site, my channel. Go to... Let's see. I uploaded this video five hours ago. It has five, five views. And this one 20 hours ago. It has 37 views. And three days ago I uploaded this video. It has uh, 49 views. Um, what did I want? There were, oh, I know. I wanted to go to... Which one was it? Uh, Okay, I think it was this one here. Okay, huh. let's see. Hello, Jim. Four thumbs up. But only 37 views, but nine comments. Um, a 15 or 20 gallon tank would fit, would totally, you know, right here would fit just right on this and it is sturdy enough to uh, to hold one now this desk that I'm sitting at here it's it's wicked strong and big but I'm not sure it'd be a good idea to put a like I could put a 20 gallon tank there I could move my computer that's here and put it here or someplace else and I could put a 20 gallon there or something not sure it's a good idea to have 20 gallons of water and uh, gravel and everything in case of a tank breakage or something. Let me check and see if uh, what's showing up here. Okay. That program you're seeing, OBS uh, Studio, that's what I'm using to record this with. Um, Dad of three said, uh, check Facebook and Craigslist for fish tanks and aquariums that people are selling. Back when my, well, ex-wife now, but back when I was married, uh, in the late 60s, we had a tropical fish shop for about three years. There were, and there was no World Wide Web. There was no, the internet might have just been started um, but, you know, there was no Craigslist or anything like that. All there was was the local newspaper. And uh, I knew several people, because we had the Tropical Fish Shop, who would go down to the Kansas City Star in the morning of the paper was the Kansas City Star, and at night it was the Kansas City, the Kansas City Times in the morning, Kansas City Star at night. They would go down in the morning, wait for the papers to be you know were being printed and as soon as it, you know they would get one and they they were talking and I'm sure uh, I don't know what time 5 a.m. in the morning or six or earlier they would get a paper and, and people had an advert you know in their uh, saying fish tank for sale or or fish tank you know will give away if you t you know come and take it and uh, these people would contact those people immediately. I'm sure wake them up. And uh, these people, there was more than one because they they all thought of it at the same time or one person thought of it and everybody else was copying him. And these people had their houses filled with fish tanks that they and equipment and fish and everything else that they got for free. Uh, sometimes they might have paid for, you know, uh, but a lot of times it was people had, you know, a fish tank and filled with water and filled with fish, and they'd say, you can have it, you know, if you take the fish, you know, and everything. And uh, so I, I couldn't be somebody who would, you know, I wouldn't do that. Not that I'm too lazy to do it, but I'm too lazy to do it. Well, I wasn't lazy back then. Yeah, maybe I was. I don't know. Uh, 
but uh, I, those people, those people, can I say that? Am I prejudiced against uh, hobbyists who were uh, crazy on <laughs> the thing? Um, I didn't like them. Now, when I say I, I don't like somebody, I'm somebody that likes, I get along with everybody, always have. If there's somebody that can't get along, that I can't get along with or can't get along with me, eh, there's something wrong with them. Um, but uh, we had this tropical fish shop and the aquarium people, the hobbyists, the really hardcore ones, the ones that had they had more fish tanks set up in their homes and bigger tanks than we had in our shop. And they had an attitude. Uh, and they would, if they did show up at our shop for something they happened to need, which would be unusual, you know, maybe they needed a valve or something, they, well, they'd have everything, but occasionally they would show up and they would never buy anything and they would make comments, negative type comments, and uh, they'd let us know uh, we have X number of fish tanks and, uh, and uh, you know, you only have this number or you don't have any of this kind of fish that we have, you know, they'd have big fish and eels and uh, stingrays, I mean, just you know, everything. And they would never buy anything from us except, um, once a year there was a show at a museum or whatever, and I never went, but people would set up the fish tanks, you know, decorate them with plants and, and good looking fish and that kind of stuff, set them up then for the three days or whatever, people would come and, and get to see tropical fish and, and uh, some beautiful fish tanks and all that kind of stuff. Those people would come once a year to our fish to buy, um, plants from us, aquarium plants, because I got, I loved plants, that was like, and I ordered in the very best of plants, and the other places, uh, ordered from Florida, and, well, we may have ordered two from Florida, but not from, you know, there, in Florida there are ponds with fish, tropical fish, and other kinds of fish in these ponds. And there are plants there that are just like weeds or whatever, and you order plants and they scoop these this garbage up and put it in bags and send it to you. We ordered in, um, you know, quality plants. So they'd come and buy all our plants. So probably most of those fish tanks at that show were filled with our plants. But... Uh, Yeah, that's how they got their fish tanks was going to the newspaper early in the morning as soon as it came, you know. And I, I think I never worked for a newspaper company, but I've worked for a lot of other companies and a lot of, you know. But I, I forget, you know, I think it was really early. And they would call those people really early and say, you know, go there and, and wake them up and go there and so get fish aquariums and all kinds of stuff for so a uh, dad of three here said, you know, suggested I, but I'm not that kind of a person. I mean, I got sort of a, but I think a lot of people are looking for somebody to, you know, tear down the tanks for them and you can have the equipment, you know. And even if somebody has a ex big expensive tank, more so then maybe, you know, if somebody has a 50 gallon tank or a 100 gallon tank or something, and then whoever owned it moved or died or something, people would, you know, yes, you can have this expensive tank, just, you know, empty it and take, because uh, even a 10 gallon tank, well, even a 10 gallon tank, you don't want to, uh, you know, you want to take the water out Sure, I have, yes, moved 10-gallon tanks after taking most of the water out, you know, and then moved them or whatever, but you're looking for a, 
you know, and it's plus uh, water weighs over eight pounds a gallon. If you have a 10 gallon tank, you're talking about, you know, a glass tank. It could be a, you know, plastic tank or whatever, but you're talking about, a, say, a glass tank that has 80 pounds of water in it. And for a 10 gallon tank, you should have, I forget now what, it, what, what we told people, I think a uh, 10 pounds of gravel or soil or whatever in the tank. And uh, now we ordered in and our place was set up with slate bottom tanks. But back then you could get glass, you know, bottoms, which we never ordered in and we never sold. We always sold slate bottom. But you could go up to, you know, Truman Corner Shopping Center or whatever and go to, I forget the name of this, well, Katz's would have been one, but uh, was it Wilco or forget, you could go in there and they sold glass bottom tank, fish tanks or whatever. But anyway, looks like storm's passing through a little bit. Uh, and the rain is getting a little brighter out there. And the rain, I don't, a little, probably a little bit coming down. Anyway, I have not decided. Next week, I have to get out for a doctor's appointment, and then I think the week after that, I have another doctor's appointment. Hillary, my daughter, is going to take me, and one doctor's office is right close to a Walmart or whatever, and uh, so I, I may get a fish tank, and I have not decided which one to get. A, 15 gallon tank would sit here, a 20 gallon tank would go here. In fact, a 20 gallon tank would exactly fit here. Now this this desk, I can put something in. I can move the computer. So I've thought about like live streaming, setting up the fish tank, putting, putting you know, when I'm not doing this, just aim the camera at it and live stream to YouTube. Although I'm not going to get a bunch of fancy, you know, a bunch of fancy fish. Back when, in the 60s, I was interested in, you know, discus. We didn't uh, do any, we never sold any marine uh, fish at all. We never had even, we didn't even have a setup for them now. Now it's a lot easier because of the filters and uh, and a, a lot more that they know and that type of stuff so far as marine fish, you know, and setting up tanks and monitoring them. And now you can do it, you know, by, you can get the data, you know, on, the, on your screens from a, you know, using computer stuff. So, Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm still open to suggestions. Uh, on a fish tank, you know, on a fish tank or whatever. We used, back then, for in fact, all of our tanks in our shop, we used under gravel filters. I, most fish shops didn't. I think they used it to uh, box filter dropped down in there and sometimes they didn't have even have gravel or anything because they weren't trying to you know raise plants or whatever uh, and it was easier to clean you know but we used under gravel filters and I think under gravel filters have sort of fallen out of favor so I'm sure I would go with an external filter on the back, but maybe drop in, well, depend on the size of the tank, maybe drop in a sponge filter also, depending on the size of the tank. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching.